You are welcome to the white carpet right here on Joy News on Multi TV. My name is Gladys Osei Oredu. Okay, so let's see what has been happening during the week in the entertainment industry. Last night, a remembrance service was held in honor of our late beloved Kamala Dumo right here at the forecourt of Joy FM. We had loved ones and former colleagues passing through to share fond memories of him. And we, we also um, caught up along the week with the film producers and distributors who say they are going to be arresting um, drivers and other operators who screen their movies without the appropriate rights. So starting February 1, that action is going to go into action. So um, if you are one of those who seem to be the target, then check yourself. And also, uh, we will be talking about Shata Wale right here on the white carpet. What's he up to? Well, he has been sounding a few cautions here and there to the organizers of the Ghana Movie, uh, Ghana Music Awards, Ghana Music Awards. So uh, we'll, we'll hear what he said. We'll hear uh, critics' opinions about it, and we would, yeah, we'll get yours too as well. So you are on the white carpet stay with us of course the white carpet is brought to you by etel money without them this can't come to you <laughs> Yes, so with us on the white carpet. So um, you can send your comments, uh, questions, opinions, your tribute to our WhatsApp number. The number is 0267-844-024. Uh, it, it's on your screen. So keep your comments coming through, your questions, your um, tributes. Keep them coming through, and we'll be sharing that right here on the white carpet. Um, as custom, I should have actually observed a moment's silence for our late brother who passed exactly a week today, Komala Dumo. I, it's never too late to do that. I'll do that right now. Doing this with me. Um, Last night, we held a remembrance service for him at the forecourt of Joy FM, and I would like you to have a feel of how the whole ceremony went. All I see is racist faces, misplaced hate makes disgrace to racist. We under, I wonder what it takes to make this one better place. Let's erase the waste. Take the evil out the On Friday night, hundreds, including friends and former colleagues of the late Komla, gathered to remember, honor, and to celebrate him. To see a black president, uh, it ain't a secret of the seal of facts. A penitentiary's back, and it's filled with blacks. But some things will never change. Try to show another way, but staying in the dope. Yeah. I see a celebrity come last life. Can you put your hands together for me? A finger snap will do. Snap or clap. Yeah, no, 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 Sing with me now. Unipanda sani, emre ni nansu. Abe swa kukoni kransu, eni o breaku diensu. This the ambotre. Thank you 
Есть палачи в моих зверей, пяти из петухов. Они мои с недавних пор. Такой я есть, такой я есть. Сюда забегнул за поезд. In fact, my children. We passed this way this once, Okumadada. We knew the prepuce of our seared consciences. For thoughts trickle down the mind, down the chin, down the elbow, and it becomes a matter of the tongue. <laughs> His death has shattered many across the world, especially his former colleagues, both at Multimedia Group and in other media houses. 41 balloons were released into the air by former colleagues of the icon to indicate the number of years he spent on Earth. When I'm done, and all my soul, so when troubles come. Those were excerpts from last night's remembrance service for our late brother, comrade, colleague, friend, uh, all in all, Komla Dumo. Um, I have two award-winning artists right here with me in the studio to recount some moments they had with the um, late Komla Dumo. I have BET award winner Sako Die right here in the studio alongside EL with me in the studio to, to um, you know, recount some fond memories of Kobla. Hi guys, welcome. Hi. Hey. It's a high five. I hope I can reach Sak with you. Yes, sure. Thank you. <laughs> I'll reach you. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Sak, um, is that Sak you, you don't in there? Um, yeah, inside. Oh, okay. That's, yeah. yeah. And then mm. the belt, which yeah. I don't think I'm supposed to do that now. Um, yeah. For just the hook here, it's okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. Um, that? Okay. Yeah, okay. exactly. <laughs> right. Thanks. Um, let me start with you, Sack. Um, you got interviewed by um, Komala on BBC Focus on Africa yeah. sometime last year. Um, how did you get there, just briefly? Um, it was hard for me to believe from day one because he used to send messages to um, a guy that I know called Inketia, mm. Urban Effect. He was like a designer for Sarkode from way back. And he used to tell me that Komala loves your music. And I, it was hard for me to believe. I thought it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe, you yeah. know, till like... But you felt he was too big to enjoy No, not like, or? he is big, <laughs> you know, and it's okay. hard for someone like that to even listen to your music in the first place. Yeah. Then I grew up and then I had contact with him and we kept, like, messaging ourselves on WhatsApp, you know, till like, I traveled to the, to the UK and I wrote this on Instagram. The reason why I think he is just a different person is I had a perception as in where he is working on BBC is going to be so hard to even approach the person. It's not even going to be too free. Yeah. But he was putting pressure on me to come to BBC and do an interview. Yeah. I actually sent for a limo to come and get me from where I was I see. To, to BBC. He came down to get me to the top, took me to all, um, e like everything that happens at BBC, to yeah. different radio stations, I BBC see. Extra, One and All. Mm. And then made me enjoy how he, he does his job. Mm. So that was, that was really like um, a VVIP pass to yeah, even stand there so. when live um, news is going on. So he made me look at him. And then after that, he just gave me 
a um, couple of minutes on the on the show just mm. talking about Illuminati. That was the time I shot the new video, <laughs> yeah. and then he showed he aired the video on BBC. Mm, I see. Um, be, uh, I'll come back to you, but yeah, let's also hear um, yeah. how you got to BBC. You told me you couldn't um, get yeah. Kamla interview you. Yeah, at the time we were supposed to meet up with Kamla so that we didn't do an interview. He had actually recommended, along with a whole panel, that they bring me over there to talk about mm. music coming from Africa and stuff yeah. like that. So I had the opportunity to actually go over there to the BBC one extra we went around but I wasn't able to meet him because Sophie told me that he mm. had gotten a little sick and I okay. think that's when it started to occur, occur to me that wow somebody who is as huge as Kola Jumo, wow. somebody as strong and as valiant as him could actually fall sick mm. so I unfortunately couldn't get to meet him but he's somebody who I've known from a very young age because mm, I remember I back in the day he used to have a competition on Joy FM at Christmas time and we called him and we're lucky to get through mm. and he asked us to you know answer a question we answered the question we got it right and he gave us an answer and and a book a very oh, big okay. encyclopedia <laughs> and so see. we met Kobla Kobla I mean <laughs> Kobla yeah. more from way back when I was yeah. a kid and it's just shocking yeah. there are no words to describe how I how, see how so like when you met Kobla did he ask you if you were Illuminati <laughs> 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 no and then he's um, he's a fun person yeah he as I said, when I was going to meet him, I was like, I need to get my, um, my grammar right mm -hmm. and then be on point when yeah. I'm talking to him. But he was speaking pigeon throughout. <laughs> I see. You know, he was mm -hmm. like, yo, Charlie, so what happened? So Ghana, what are going on? Charlie, mm -hmm. you know, I won't make Ghanaians proud. I won't bring you guys come. And he's like, he's looking at what's happening in Ghana. He's trying to take the people who are much more serious, who are ready to take Ghana to the next level, as yeah. he is doing. Mm -hmm. So when, when EL was talking about him, I was not too sure because he mentioned EL, um, R2Bs, that he wanted mm -hmm. to have them on. So yeah. he was ready to push us those there you know because so their what he said was he was trying to double his fan base um year after year and work harder to gain more um fan base it was it was fun when i had to when, when we're done with the interview when we got outside yeah the tourists from from the states and italy and everywhere they were trying to take pictures with Komla. Oh. And he was actually telling them that this is a guy from Ghana. His name <laughs> yeah. is Sarko. They should take picture with me instead. Yeah. Oh, that's it was lovely. it was it was it was really that's like it was hard for me to believe. I couldn't talk to him. Yeah. And till today I, I couldn't see him to be just a normal guy. But he was so down to earth. It was unbelievable. Yeah. You know. And then he actually what hurt me the most is that he told me about an in, um, an interview he wants to do with me in a rap form. Mm. So I was going to write the answers with rhymes like I'm rapping. Oh, okay. And he's also going to Ask talk to me like he's rapping, rhyming, okay. and then we're gonna do that in Ghana. He's gonna take yeah. it back to BBC. He's gonna be aired, and then he w he was supposed to do it this year. Mm. So even even my psychology concert, he was here, okay. and I had a show I think two days after, and then he was at Reggie's office, mm. and I sent my guy to go and get me watch it. And I think he saw him, <laughs> and he said, "Where is Sack? I want to see Sack before I go." And that was the last time I heard from him, and that's, that's it's just crazy. December. Yes, this is December. Yeah. 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 How did you receive news of his death, Eel? Uh, I think I was I was in the studio, and then a friend of mine walked upstairs, and uh, he just blurted it out like, "Oh, yes, eh, um, oh, Colonel Dumo is gone." And I was like, "Ah, you know, see these people they what always put in." What time of day on Saturday? It was in the evening. You know, okay. it was it was very late. I you usually yeah. record very late in the okay. night. So he just came. I was like, "You know, Charlie, these people they are always saying stuff about this." And Colonel Dumo is the last person on this earth that I would believe is deceased. So then I went onto Twitter and I started seeing all these things. But I checked a very, very, very viable source and mm. they confirmed it. And I was like, no. So I called my parents, actually, because they know him. They, okay. they really talked to him very regularly. And they said, yes, my mom was devastated. It was just off. So wow. I, I couldn't believe it. Up till now, I was just telling Sarko before the show started that I still think it's... It's like a joke. It's like a yeah. joke, like it's a prank or and somebody is playing it. Day, you or you'll be like, hey, yeah, you know, okay, exactly. so you guys love me or something. But <laughs> yeah. that's, I guess that's just the nature of losing somebody. Yeah. We have to come to terms with that. Mm. So, yeah. Sark, how, how were you hit by the death news? No, um, for me, I went there with one guy in the UK who's like my boss mm. from, from way back. And then he called me because he loved the guy. He also had a, a perception about him, but that day it changed. So he's been like a fan from that day. And he called me, he's like, yo, can you... I said, no, you're, you're lying. And as he's saying, I, even my time was much more earlier. That was, I think, fresh. So yeah. I couldn't see it anywhere. So I was like a bit relieved. I said, oh, they're lying. Because yeah. so, he wanted to be sure, because he thought I was much more closer to him. So I should check out. And that day I was on WhatsApp and saying, bro, 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 yo, bro, what's up? What's up? What's up? And it was not 
you know what's up when, you, when it delivers you have the two signs yeah. but it was just one yeah. for yeah. a long time and I got scared and I was watching um, BBC no news, no news and Twitter I think as you know rumors can come so yeah. it took me time to really till today I even tried to watch something last two days I see. it's really hard for me to believe yeah yeah I see um, Let's hear you, what your colleagues in the uh, music industry and entertainment industry have also been saying about Comland. And when we come back, I'll be asking you to, um, to share with us um, how his the lessons that you have learned from testimonies and tributes pouring in from the entertainment fraternity. But before we take that... Um, tributes from our other friends in the entertainment industry. Let me tell you about how easy and convenient it is now to send money to your friends, loved ones, family, and all over the world. So um, let's see, Etel has made that very easy and convenient for you. So whether you are sending money to mom and papa back home, to your son in school, or sending money to your friend who uh, needs money badly, do it with Etel money anytime, any day, anywhere. So you see, Etel loves you so much. It's simple. Go to your Etel money menu on your phone and choose send money. I enter the recipient's phone number, the amount, and your pen. I, I'll take you through it again. So don't 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 feel it's it's rushed. I'll take my time because Etel loves you so much. They have made this very simple and easy. So I'll make sure you also get it. If you don't have an Etel number, make sure you grab one so life is easier for you to send money and receive money as well. So bingo, the money will be sent instantly through Etel money. So just um, stay tuned. You'll get this instruction again. And if you don't, by now you should be looking for an Etel SIM card. Yeah. All right. So um, let's now go for the tributes from our other colleagues in the entertainment fraternity. After about five months or a year after our interaction, our first single came out, uh, Bre Bro Baima, and then he used to play it a lot. Uh, Mark gave it to him and he played it. I think for two major reasons, because Reggie was his friend and because he was young and he could identify with rap music. So when a lot of people they didn't know what rap music was. On the morning show, the most listened to morning show in Ghana, um, he played it and the sending people heard it. So um, to me, I think he's one of the major pillars of uh, broadcasters that established hip life music. Apart from that, I will never forget that gentle touch of his heavy hand on my small shoulder. There's greatness in you, there's greatness in you. Keep at it, you succeed. So that prophecy on my life Yes, um, and apart from that, I'll see him on BBC, and I say, yeah, that is one of us, that is one of us, you know. The BBC broadcaster is... First encountered him when, in 2003, just, yeah, before I contested Miss Ghana, and as Miss Ghana, he interviewed me on his programme, and we've been friends ever since, so, yeah. The beauty of his life is everyone speaks positively of him, and it's there to see. What the legacy he left behind, we all appreciate it. Some envy it, some would love to live like him, and others would like to do better. Well, he, to me, he was an inspiration to everyone. He, he, he showed standards, he showed that whatever you put your mind to, you could make it. So I feel like this the time I could give him my respect as well. Oh, I do that all the time. We used to tweet on Twitter and I used to call me my sister and all that. So basically, I want to give him, pay him his respect. I actually wanted to have him interviewing me on his show, but so unfortunately I didn't get that chance. Um, the first time I heard him, I heard him on radio and I felt this man could speak well. I mean, I loved everything he said on radio. He knows what to say and what time to say it. So, I mean, that's the first time I heard him. Um, what made him, what made me love him was the fact that he's a Ghanaian and he's doing it big. It gave me, like, the design and insight that I could do it. I mean, being a Ghanaian, I could still reach greater heights, like, the way he was doing. The third was when, uh, my Azunta documentary came out with BBC and I saw him speak about it and all that and you know it made me love him the more so hearing about his death just broke my heart because I felt we've lost one of the biggest sons we have who's doing it big when it comes to international news and broadcasting. I was blessed to be in his presence 
Uh, I had interviews with him uh, while he was with uh, Multimedia, Joy FM to be precise. And the last time I met him is about uh, just about a year ago. We had a show at the banquet hall. All that I can remember is uh, his smile, his approach to, and his love of what he was doing as a broadcaster. My role model sent me a message. Anytime I want to get directional on things I want to do, I drop him a mail. He'd be like, I'm busy, I'm on my way home. The next thing I know, I receive a mail describing this is what I suggest you should do and this is the direction you should take. And it has always been like that back and forth. I was hoping to meet him before he passed away. Personally, I remember him for calling me a boss. And he, as a bigger brother, is the biggest boss I know. So for me, it just gives me the task that we, I really, really need to elevate and make him proud uh, wherever he is. Well, music. So those were tributes pouring in from some other members in the entertainment industry. I still have Sako Dear and Eel with us in the studio. Uh, we're talking memories of Komla Dumo. Oh. Um, okay, so see, let's see. Uh, oh. Bingo. Sorry. We try to make it light. It's, it's a heavy blow to all of yeah. us. But yeah. How has his death um, made changes in your life? What lessons have you drawn from comments, um, views, tributes people are bringing in so far? To be honest, you know, when you lose a loved one, it's stage by stage. First you get to hear about it, then you get to find out if it's true or not. Then you enter the moment where you are still in denial about it. I guess I'm still in the transition from the denial phase to the acceptance phase. So the lessons learned, I mean, by all means, we have lost a great son. We've lost somebody somebody who has been a living example to us, the young ones. So I think it's a heavy blow for us to bear, and it's going to take a while for the wounds to heal. But um, like, you know, the wise people say, the Lord gave it and the Lord takes away. So we just have to accept it and then move on. But the lessons that he has taught us is about as, as young men can reach heights which have previously not been reached by anybody. Sarkozy has reached heights where nobody has reached. I've also gone thus far and I know Kopna Dumo has taken it further than anybody else. So um, my heart just goes out to his family. Kopna Dumo lived a well-lived life and he just serves as a big example for the rest of us. It's a heavy blow but um, we accept it and we just hope for the best. Mm. Suck. I think I said it all. <laughs> like, exactly what I wanted to say. Like, when I just watched the tributes, it's really touching. And everybody, as you said, they're all saying the same thing about him. Yeah. He is, like, when I met him, as I said, makes me feel like this is one of us who's, mm -hmm. like, there. Right? He didn't sell his identity to go anywhere. Yeah. He was still Komlandumo. You know, and that makes me feel like I have, I still have to believe in what I'm doing. You know, mm -hmm. because... <sighs> It's crazy, but we just have to go with it. Yeah. He's gone, and we can't do nothing about um, it. There, there's, there's something I also get that um, it's not just about um, achieving the height, but the time he also made, made. for younger ones yeah. seem yeah. really yeah. was a mentor. For, for, for where he was, mm. he can choose not to care. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and he, he has nothing to lose. Like yeah. the interview he did me, that I don't know what's gonna, what that's going to do for him. Sure. It was for me, mm. but he was on my neck that type of people, yeah. which is hard to come by those people, you know, who wouldn't go just alone. They would like people yeah. to follow up yeah. and everything. He didn't just look at even Ghana. He was looking at Africa at, at large, because I think Inyanya was, was, on, was on the show. Yeah. Whiskey yeah, was Whiskey on the show. Was also there. Yeah. So, was there. Yeah. Yeah, so he has, done, he has done so much to contribute to the success of African artists and mm -hmm. people who are working hard to achieve as Africans. Mm -hmm. and, and without him being there, there's no telling who we are going to be able to link up with in the BBC now. Mm -hmm. So that's also something which is going to affect yes. us mm -hmm. a lot because yeah. who do we go he to now? The, who yeah. do we, he was the bridge. He, he was the crossover. He, he, it was you know? easier to get, was you easier there to get him. there through mm -hmm. him. Hopefully, hopefully somebody else is able to get there. You know, get there and help us, exactly. the local artists and international artists, to 
proceed as well. All right, so we've said a lot. Um, in one sentence, as it can, it can even be a word, how would you describe um, Komla Tumo in your life? How you saw him in your life? Um, the last tweet I sent to him was, he is my inspiration. Mm. Powerful. And he wrote me back saying, um, obviously they say I don't go for maintain, <laughs> but we're still doing it. You know, yeah. well, he's, I didn't really understand that, but yeah. I guess he had his own whatever. And as he was saying, he's the last person you would like to even check up on because you think he's always he's good. He's cool, yeah. yeah. You know, but it's hard. But he's an inspiration to all of us. That's yeah. the only thing I can say about him. Mm. Eel? I would consider the present circumstance and just describe him as an angel because mm. I know that as he's gone, even though he's gone and even though he's not here with us physically, he's watching over us. Yeah. So he's somebody who's always going to be blessing us. So we haven't really lost him. We know he's still watching for us. So he's my angel. All right. Um, I can't let you go without also catching up with you. What's up with you, Sal? Um, how soon are we getting a new Psychology 3? <laughs> yeah, no, that's too that's soon. It's a 30-track <laughs> album, so it's going to take some time mm -hmm. you know, to soak it in. I like people who are enjoying the album so far. I can see on Twitter people tweeting specific songs that they like. Um, What's going to happen is I'm going to break down the videos of the songs, like almost all the 30 songs, you know, throughout the whole year. And the new one coming is Preach, Fishing Silverstone, which I just shot in the UK. Mm. Whilst I was supposed to, you see, I went to the UK to <laughs> chill, yeah. and I didn't want to bother Komla. Chill. But that would have been the last time, like, to really? actually see him. Yeah. I was trying to hide myself, and we mm -hmm. lost him. <laughs> so anyway, I have a new song called Preach, which is coming out. The video is coming out Would soon. you want to share a line or two here? Um, I, I don't think it's going to be... I would need some... Um, how do you call that? This sensor thing. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> you so have to that, take it. And, and then I'm not in the mood to <laughs> rap anyway. You, you know, uh, people f say that uh, mentally you are spoiled. <laughs> in a way. But they are doing finny big work to pan. Ben and then. Now you got me to smile. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, so it's basically just promoting psychology and then um, the new selection of... Um, um, sack collection coming soon um, for ladies. You, you get yours. Don't worry, I'll hook uh, you up. Yeah, so you can please. just, you know. Mm. You've not, you've not you. been to the shop. I haven't, but I, I'll seize this opportunity to come and grab mine. Sure, you need to pass through. <laughs> so basically, yeah. it's just more of like just promoting the new stuff mm. that we have. And then um, I just hit him up today. I didn't know I was going to meet him today because yeah. we had to work. We have to, I have to start work. ASAP. That's how I work. I don't, okay. I don't wait. So me yeah. and you are going to get back to the studio soon. Yeah. Ah, uh, wow. Well, yeah. Okay, Ayo, what's up with you? Um, well. I've been I've been kind of quiet for for a while, but it's, it's because I've been working on on a few things. Mm -hmm. you know, I guess I know you've been working with Ochiame Kwame and Jay Martins. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was just one of the products um, and yeah. the, the projects that we were yeah. working on. But um, my album is coming out soon. Um, hopefully June it should be done. Um, having a lot of collabs all across from Africa, so watch out for that. Um, like you know, the usual. We are we are artists. We are musicians. So yeah. we have we, we can't stop. We have to keep consistently going at it. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. More videos coming out. But also apart from that, you know, outside the music is the show business. The business aspect of it. I'm I'm trying to work on a distribution system whereby artists can get their songs everywhere mm -hmm. in the country, not just for Ghana, but expand to Africa as well. So we're working on some businesses as well to see how that goes. Okay, well, so um, our viewers have been sending in lots of comments. Um, majority of them are paying tribute to Komla mm -hmm. and admiring Sakodie and EL. Um, one question that is running through that um, Sakodie, let me just um, do this. They want to find out, are you really a, an Illuminati? First and foremost, I don't know what that means. So I cannot even be the word. You know, I'm not. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I hope that satisfies you. Um, he has, he says he doesn't even understand it. So if you can explain that to him sometime, <laughs> he might have a good idea what you are talking about. And if it's cool, I might join. But if it's not, I won't. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I see. All right. It's been a pleasure having you guys thank on the you. white carpet. Um, too, Saturday, we you. hope to find you here some other time. I want to come back again. again because today is more of like, um, you know, coming out. Yeah. yeah. So we just have to be in the in the mood. Mm. So I would like to come back because the yeah. album is out, so we can talk about you sure. know from track to track, and mm. people know what's what's we in there. We would love to host you here. God bless you. So and we look forward you're, to you're you. You're beautiful. I like to talk. Oh, my head is swelling. The best. <laughs>
Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> El, thank you so much for coming back again. Um, thank you very much. We'll definitely hang out again another day um, about El and not um, to talk about sad about news. Sad. Okay, let's mm. do that. But right. um, just before we go, I yeah. just like to say our hearts as artists and as Ghanaian creatives go out to the family um, of Kobla Dumo. We are with you in our prayers, and we know that Kobla Dumo is watching out over us from heaven. So our condolences to you guys all. Mm. Thank you so much. So. There you had them, um, Sakodien and El. They came through to share with us their fond memories of the late Komla Tumo. Um, when we come back, your favorite critics, Nana and Francis, are right here with me on the white carpet. Stay tuned. <laughs> I'm Don Moen, and you're watching The White Carpet. Keep it right here, and remember, God will make a way where there seems to be no way. All right, so um, you are still on The White Carpet. Let's see what you have been sending to us um, Okay, so you still type in, you say, uh, okay, so finish typing quickly and I'll read yours. Um, this one says, happy belated birthday to you. Oh, thank you. You still remembered it a week after. Thank you. Uh, this one says, it's Allah who gives and he is the one who takes. May come so rest in perfect peace. Joy news, good job from Ahmed. Thank you, Ahmed. You are the reason why we are here. Um, this one says, ask Sak whether, okay, in Shona music, uh, well, forgive me, today wasn't about Sak, he would come back, so we'd get to ask him that question, where in Shona music is. Uh, I really miss that collab. I want to pay my last respect to Homla Dumo. Thank you so much for contributing to the show. Indeed, a very tragic and untimely death of Homla Dumo, leaving behind unfulfilled aspirations. Indeed, it is a big blow and an irreplaceable loss to the family and the nation and Africa from Abigail Kede. Thank you, Abigail. Uh, okay, so let's see. This one says, another one from Dagadu. Okay, Caroline, you say, I was shocked when I heard homeless death. I pray God mighty grant his soul in his bosom till end of time. Thank you so much, uh, Caroline. Um, let's, okay, so... Um, Let's see, um, Sakodia should be brought back. Yes, um, he has actually proposed that he would come back. It's good, so um, we would have him back here. Okay, you say Sak is too much. Yeah, okay. He is it's really rocking. Let's see. Um, take a look at the consent. Oh, okay. Let's see. Um, let quick, our guests are here, so let me just do this quickly. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Uh, it's really shocking. My last one, then we quickly go to our critics. They are right here. 
from Sami Kenya said, um, he says, indeed, we have lost a great man. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Um, Sami, thank you. Uh, Nana and Francis, entertainment critic, entertainment analyst, are here with us on the white carpet. Welcome. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. You have been mourning in grand style. Peace. Nana, you never know. So when I give you my high five, please take it in. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's been quite a week. It's all been about Komla, Komla, Komla. Um, you just can't wake up and accept that he indeed has left us. Last weekend, you shared your tributes. It was fresh. You had cried earlier in the day. Uh, yes. Um, so by the time you got here, you were tired of crying. Well... Okay, so, but in the course of the week, um, we heard of the Film Distributors and Producers Association who say from February 1st, exactly a week today, they will begin to arrest divers, saloon operators, restaurant operators, job bar operators who screen their movies in their venues um, without rights. Where are we getting the rights from? Because uh, if, if we look at the act, it looks like where there's um, five and above, it's public in my house, we're already a public, so <laughs> where can I get a right to buy for movie rights so I, I, I don't get arrested? <laughs> well, but, but public, I'm sure that I, don't, I haven't seen the law, but I'm sure when it says public, it must relate it to a commercial, you know, um, venture. If you're watching in your home, it may be public because of the number of people, but it's private because it's not commercialized. I mean, you're not taking money from your husband and your children mm. you know for them to watch the movie but if it's in a in a vehicle because people are paying to travel to Kumasi for example therefore you are making money out of showing that and um, if it's a it's a saloon then if I come there I'll pay for the or barbering shop mm. I'll pay for the service so when I'm watching a movie, therefore you're making money out of the movie that I'm watching. So that's what it is. But <clears throat> to be honest, I, I, I don't know how they're going to do this. I don't know how many of them there are. I don't know what the task force uh, consists of. I don't know how many buses they can enter and all that. I think it all comes down to the fact that um, as a nation, we haven't been able to build structures mm. that would ensure that, you know, uh, people who are creative people will get their due from what they create. Mm. Uh, the copyright um, regime is so relaxed that many, many people who are supposed to pay money to rights holders do not do so. Also because there's so much bickering and there's so much disorganized system yeah. that makes it impossible for this to happen. I mean, musicians are supposed to earn money from radio stations, sure. from how television stations. I wonder mm. how many pay. But and even within pay, the producers themselves, there are different associations. Absolutely, all and they pay, where does it go to? Now, the question is, how would FIPAC know that a movie that is shown in a bus is of a member True. of theirs? Good question. So, yeah. Because not every movie producer is a, a member, member of FIPAC yeah. or FIPAC or whatever they call themselves. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a tall order. They are creating a very high, you know... Um, Objective, yeah. and I wonder if it is possible for them to meet because there's so many buses on the road, there's yeah. so many restaurants, there's so many um, what do you call them saloons. These days, even a Reg Trotsky has it. Absolutely. So <laughs> it will be a tall order. I wonder yeah. if they can because not all the movies really belong to them. Hmm. And the worst part, what I heard is um, where they also said that if you're coming into Ghana to shoot a movie, you'd have to get permission from Fire Park. Mm. To be honest, I think Fire Park is stretching its, its, its tentacles too wide, going be to areas where he doesn't have jurisdiction. If, even uh, Customs hasn't been able to manage um, all <laughs> Absolutely. in the so country. The whole point is that they are setting a very high standard, and I will wait to see how they are able to do that. And if they can take it to the full hog to be able to get all that they said they want to get. It will be a plus. Absolutely. No, no. Yeah, very good point. I mean... Um, Everybody wants revenue as yeah. much as possible. And like he said, if they are, you know, 
doing their best, pumping in resources to come up with products. Why not? They should get what they do, you know. Unfortunately, the whole system is a too haphazard. So you don't know where and how they're even going to regulate the system, the task force people. Because sometimes you form these task forces and the people end up taking bribes yeah. from the people they are supposed to task force. Like oh, okay. <laughs> And then Is there one? <laughs> <laughs> they will see you as, <laughs> you know. But even though I was speaking on this topic, I wanted to divert a little and say something. I was very happy this week. I'm sure okay. you know why. Yes. Tell me you about. Know. Oh. Oh. You no, know no, why. Let's stick to the issues. You know let's tackle why. the issues. I met, you know me better than <laughs> no, that. No, let's tackle the issues. So I met I had, so, you know. this week. <laughs> A very fine gentleman, the one who spoke to us on the radio, wishing oh, her birthday. Not radio, on phone. Yeah. I'm sorry, on the, t on the phone. That's yeah. what will very happen. Fine if, you, if, you, if you divert attention, that's what happens. Don't worry, we had a few things downstairs. That's what's <laughs> happening to me. <laughs> anyway, back to the matter, yeah. So we're greeting you, sir. Nice meeting you, you know. So in my, you know, small... Nice not meeting you. <laughs> He can't go away, man. He can't go away. We are still in the holiday. I'm making the oh, sure, 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 sure. I mean, well, we're saying this because of what happened yesterday here, also. You know, so it's kind of difficult for us to stay yeah. on focus today. So, exactly. the viewers should forgive us if we seem a bit off because personally, I am like 60% not here. You know, so. <laughs> you know, I hope they forgive us. You today. have to explain. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> A good man has fallen to a great man. To a great man. To a great man. To a soldier. Yeah. A to fallen a soldier. soldier. We never leave a man behind. You have no, you there. have the no idea. <laughs> the amount of water they are drinking. <laughs> to Africa, Dumont, BBC what, what all the way. What brand have you been way. drinking? Which of the brands of water? Coca -Cola. Uh, penny the penny. Coca -Cola. No, we drank Coca-Cola. Yeah. Coca-Cola. Yeah. Coca Coca okay. We are wearing black, so you know. Mm. Yeah, sure. So what were we talking about? <laughs> five pack. <laughs> oh, five pack. <laughs> yes, as I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they need to get their acts right, you know, because the, um, the movie industry is a whole big industry where the artists have to be paid for whatever they are doing. Because if they are not getting today, we talked about the bill, which apparently has been lying on the parliamentary table for, ten, for yeah. 10 good years how why that is ridiculous is it that what is in it does not make sense or it's not feasible or? That's, that's the question we both asked but uncle ken was very eloquent about it and he kept <laughs> defending that we didn't know why uncle francis even attacked uncle ken uncle ken <laughs> why are you defending these people you know because we don't seem to get it mm. so already what is supposed to come to the people who are the industry players is not coming to them with simple things like passing a bill yeah. and francis was like there's other bills that we've seen them pass overnight yeah so why not this one mm. if it really meant so much to them and if they need power they come and use these same artists so right now that they have the power That's and when we even have interest. one of our own who was here last two weeks yeah. or so or last week last week mm. last week also industry players including honorable fritz baffo as well yeah. you people all were outside speaking for this now you're in there. What are you really doing? Because it's so embarrassing for us to hear that for the past 10 years, this thing is on the table but you and see, nothing has really been done about it. It's really amazing to also see you there and somebody else will be saying this about Precisely, you. exactly the point <laughs> we're trying to make. You yeah. know, but you see, that shouldn't be the status quo. Mm. We should change it. The fact that we probably may do the same thing doesn't mean that should be it. Mm. At least now we are doing something because we have a platform. So why not? Let's talk about it. That's what we do. We can't take arms and go and fight. Exactly. We only will talk, mm. you know. So if all these things are passed, perhaps there will be bills in there oh, to, to support the Co task force also. You want to hire Kofi Capito's services? Kofi Capito, no, no I he, can't do, he can't do jack. He can't do. I battled <laughs> him on ETV some time ago, and I said, Chief, you know, you can't do much, really, you know. It, look. To say prior. Thank God you changed your last vocabulary. <laughs> then I'm tired. What did I say? You can do much. I'm comfortable with that one. Yeah. Danja. <laughs> Oh, I learned it from this man. Normally, I wouldn't say it madly like that, you know. Praye or ubu bakwa. Oh, sorry. Praye or hua e bakwa. Utimi boom. Be boom wa. You know, when there's a team, it's stronger. Yeah. So why not? We all come together. Whether fee pack, eight pack, shit pack, or whatever pack. Please, we all come together. You know, and then we do or we get the job done. We put these guys on their toes. Cause trust me, politicians don't like to be bothered. No. Yeah. When they get into power, do you know what they are thinking about? The next four years. Yeah. 
what they really don't care about you. What they can achieve the, in the next four Precisely. years. Precisely. Achievements and tales I love today. Precisely. I was going to say something about Victoria Hammer, but because you said the father watches, I rest my comments. <laughs> We wish him a happy birthday. So yeah, yeah. Spare him. I want to keep it there. Yeah. Good friendship. Let him still be in love with us. <laughs> uh, no, you, not me. I'm not gay. <laughs> okay, so um, Shata Wale has been sounding a few cautions here and there that if the organizers of the Ghana Music Awards know they won't give him any awards, they shouldn't even nominate him. That's no news. Let me take it first. I mean, please, who the hell are you, really? You know, what? It's an organization. Me no need awards to do my career. Well, that's your yeah. problem. I don't <laughs> care, really. Look, let's get away from that thing. That somebody who come and threaten, then they give him an award. Are we jokers? I mean, okay. seriously? Like, seriously? What? How? Like, I was with, him, with Bulldog. That's his money. Bulldog is my twin brother. We are buddies, you know, on uh, another network hmm. last two weeks or so. And I sounded the same warning to him in front of Bulldog that, look, the threat he gave to showbiz, they shouldn't publish anything about him. I take it that he was in a sexual mood and he said it. So I forgive <laughs> the stupidity, you know, because frankly speaking, who are you compared to showbiz? That is our mother paper, like graphic, mm. whether you like them or not, like GTV, GBC, who are you? That's for all like of us. Multi -TV, it's like TV, join news. Yes, but Multi yeah. is private. Yeah. So even though we belong to it, we are proud we're still, of Multi TV. We're still large. Sure, we're larger but, than TV. But comparatively, <laughs> but you cannot not, take the name. It's okay. Let it to me. <laughs> yeah, <I'm on> <laughs> exactly my point, you know. But <laughs> everything... <laughs> you know, like Omla said, Thank there's rap music, there's hip hop, there's hip -hop. and then there's Tupac. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Charlie, let's give him a nap. Charlie, glad it's... You're <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's a kind of music award. Exactly. And um, that comes once every year. Mm -hmm. And uh, what you call them, the, the panel of judges or the committee that plans, um, categorization committee, looks at, you know, music that has happened in the year from yeah. January 1 to December 31st. Sure. And then they try, together with people who have submitted their work, do nominate. When they nominate, not everybody who has been nominated will win an award. Okay. Okay. It's competition. You know, it's competition. Way, yeah. I mean, the fact that you're nominated is not a guarantee that so you win an award. So let me get this right. If you don't turn in your work, it doesn't even go through nomination exactly. process. No, yeah. it doesn't. It's so if yeah. his song gets nominated, means he submitted. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes okay. I think that the, 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 the committee also use some discretion to say sure. that they think that this there are some qualify. work, although have not been nominated, they think that because okay. of the work that it was done in the year they would nominate it. Now it is even without them turning it absolutely, in. Absolutely. It's yeah. possible. It's That's possible. another probability. You know. Okay. So it is for you to say after the nomination has been done to say that please I don't want to take part. Please drop me. Okay. But if you haven't been dropped and it goes to the wire, mm. you could win or you could not True. win. Now that is out of the hands of the committee that did the categorization and selection. Because part of the of the results will come from public voting. Mm. Yeah. Okay, for example, if you're going to be chosen as artist of the year, or your song is going to be chosen as the most popular song of the year, mm. which is an absolutely, the uh, most popular song of the year is the total uh, public voting. Mm. So if the public doesn't vote for you, what do you, do, I mean, what right do you come back to to say that I haven't, they haven't given me that award because they don't really yeah, give that exactly. award. That award is not I given; mean, it is won. Even at that time, it's an opportunity for him to um, sell one of his three cars and vote for himself. I mean, whatever you want, whichever to do, way, whichever way you, you want to do. You can do an Ivan Okoro. His that's his his favorite chick. I, I dare uh, not say anything what has about it. What has it? What has it? What has it? You know, you were asking me. What has it? Yeah, I'm so interested. About popular votes. You remember there were some text messages supposed to be sent from Miss Ghana. Miss Ghana. Let's not talk about Miss Ghana. We're talking about music here. Miss Ghana. He has a song now for the girl. And Uncle 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 Ken. Which one? Which one is Uncle Ken's own girl? And which one is your own? My dear. Your sister. Ivan Nelson. Don't say don't do the kid, please. <laughs> so the point is that I mean you cannot threaten the organization, the, the Ghana Music Awards organization that they need to once they nominate you they have to give you that's absolute stupidity. Exactly. I mean what yeah, kind to of put it is that? It you are threatening you. them. Oh please, <laughs> I'm tired of giving them to say that me. <laughs> give you an award because they nominated you. So what? You you are competing with other people. Of course, and there are different are you levels than of them? voting. Mm. 
So you rather win or you don't and win. And even being nominated makes you a it's winner amazing. to begin with. I mean, that mentality that came from last year when he was he said he he was he was told that he would win because some online Pope. voting had gone on and you thought that you win and you didn't win. Therefore you insult everybody, go to make so that that has to he, end at some point. Yeah, that's just the studio. He makes that a song. That has to end at some point. I mean you can't always rough shot over everybody. True. And he has to be told you're that not the only person you're not the only Ghana. musician in Ghana. Yeah. You are like I mean, some people to President Rollins. You're not the only yeah. sensible you are the person most in popular, Ghana. Yeah. Most popular musician in Ghana at the moment. There's no doubt about yeah. it. But that fact alone does not win awards. Okay, I'd um, like us. to give attention to our viewers too. They have been sending in comments. So we let's appreciate hear. them very yes, much. Yes, without them, we won't be sitting here. That's true. And Absolutely. you won't be telling me that I am doing ya. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I actually know. I'm patching. we only be making for only, Oh, oh yes, 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 yes. No, no, we can't oh, do that to you. Don't worry. <laughs> I, I haven't drank your brand of water, so I yeah. am. So let's hear what um, you, you have been sharing with us. Well, uh, okay, so this one says Chatterhouse should stop blind reggae and dance hall. Um, I don't get what exactly you mean, please. Uh, well, no, what it means is the, that you know the, the award the, the category general. for. Uh, reggae, reggae and dance, and dance so. so there's one category. Okay. And I know he's, it's, he's it's suggesting not. that they should separate it. So there's reggae and, and then dance, dance, dance all. Well. I think I agree too. True, I do yeah, too. Yeah, because you can't you can't pay Black Rasta and Shatter. You see, why they did that was that you don't have a lot of reggae music. I mean, it's tell me how many matter. reggae music you it's, have. It's unopposed. Sometimes it's even source of attraction for mm. others to also mm. decide to. How go many into reggae that. music came in? Yes, I did. They are kind of cousins. W once, w no, but once you embark on that one, they are not the same, but they are cousins. They are cousins, but they are they are different. Parents. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> but they come from the same. If they were, uh, if they were, if they were, you, don't, you, don't know if they you they they all come from the same. Oh, the lies what you. Don't take us to South Africa now, now, now. We don't want no trouble. This one says, "Oh, how could Kamala? In fact, your eternal departure creates a very big vacuum in the press fraternity." Yes, and I agree with you. I say, "Oh, we do." Uh, hey, 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 let me look at that one again. Mm -hmm. Okay, from oh no, it's Ose from Swedru. Enter the next. Enter the next. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this one says attitude is the best. Not a song from. Okay, so this one's coming from Max Com. Okay, this should categorize uh, reggae different. Okay, you came to explain to me. Thank you. Extend. This greetings to Francis is coming from YAF Kinsley in Priso. Hi, Kinsley. Oh, and my kid. <laughs> and he says, My tears are still oozing down my cheek. Oh. What a loss. Right. Mm -hmm. We all feel the same, but we're managing. Um, it gets to a time you realize that life might just go on. That's what we are all trying to do. Mm -hmm. Mr. Komla, you really a good man, but God knows what we don't know. May your soul rest. In perfect peace is coming from Sharifa at Bon. Thank you, Sharifa. This one says, It's never, it's, uh, okay, forgive me, I can't read this one. Uh, let's see. Your brand of water. <laughs> uh, this one says, I think the movie industry is not fair to the drivers because what they are doing is more. Uh, more adverts for the industry. Shatter is very good. The industry should please consider him for the award. Um, we don't beg for the award. <laughs> he has to. He has to deserve it. Um, quickly before we go, um, the burial of Ronnie Coaches is exactly a week today, February one. It's being held at the National Theatre. Uh, the wake is on Friday. The uh, funeral memorial. Uh, what do you call it? The burial won't be at the National Theatre. No, I mean burial, uh, burial service, Francis Francis, <laughs> 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 maybe you need to send money to a few friends and loved ones and family. So let me tell you about how you can use Airtel money to do that. Um, so when you have Airtel money, uh, now they have actually made it very easy and convenient and simple for you to send money to your friends, family, loved ones, uh, everybody, anybody who needs money. In fact, even me, you can send to me. I have an Airtel number, I'll tell you. <laughs> so you send me money. Whether you are sending it to anybody at all, it's that simple and easy. So um, you uh, do it with Airtel money anywhere, anytime, any day. It's convenient, it's fast, it's secured. Okay, so it's simple. Go to your Airtel money menu on your phone and choose send money. 
please listen again. I need you to get it right. Send money. Enter the recipient's phone number, then the amount, and then the pin. And bingo! The money <laughs> will be sent instantly. Um, if you don't want this one, well, how else do you want it? I mean, it's simple. So, uh, Uncle Francis, no, no, you can try that. I'll t you know my hotel number. You can try yes, that and let's see. Then yes. out. Give testimony a week today. Okay, because you mm. read the LPM very well, dramatically done, <laughs> like that. Okay, we oh, shall. Yes. Yes. As they say in Ghana, "Blame or war be." We shall, shall it be? Yes, yes, doesn't bring fights. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can just tell that behind this, you're out of here to be. <laughs> no, but but I think that just uh, parting uh, word, if I could, sure. just okay. say that um, we have really mourned Kamala this week, sure. and yeah. I'm sure there'll be more mourning, you exactly. know. Once the body arrives and the funeral is and all that, but I think what we all have to focus on and concentrate on was the fact that we're mourning him, but we're also celebrating him. We're celebrating exactly. what he stood for, the fact that he was a guy who attached passion to what he did it's and true. didn't lower the standards. He aimed very high, yeah. and even on the bigger stage, he was a superstar. So, yeah. even as we mourn him, we should focus on that, and each of each one of us should learn that whatever we do. We attach the best passions and we don't lower any standard, lower any bar, yeah. and we do it very well with all the um, enablement that God gave us to do it. Mm. Thank you so much. That's so inspiring. And I, would you also want to do any ending? Yes. Something to share? Um, yes. I think I have to also do a quick one on Komla. Um, one thing he had was um, self-confidence, mm. you know. Uh, some people mistook that for arrogance, but you can't blame a man who is so knowledgeable. You don't expect him to be mute, a mule, or um, a sucker. No, he wouldn't do that. And that's why he expects excellence from everybody. Perhaps the small we can also learn and add to our life is that maybe we should also read and mm. read a lot because knowledge is power. Sure. Indeed. Nobody yeah. can take that away from, away from us. Yeah. All right, so knowledge is power. And if indeed we are celebrating yeah, Komwa, we... then we should also try and live some of the examples that we are talking about and not just talk about it. He will smile when he sees his works, his achievements being emulated positively. Thank you so much for being with us. Um, shout outs to you, my sister Jane Hagen. You graduated today. Congratulations to you and my regards to the entire family. And thank you, Mrs. Nkoma uh, Mills, for um, your support, whichever way that you gave it to me. And thank you for all of you um, who have been with us and shared your company. We are grateful. My name is Gladys Osei Oredu. Catch a repeat of this show tomorrow, Sunday at 9.30 right here on Joy News on Multi TV. It's also shows on Senior Africa on Wednesdays and Sundays. So do make a date with us. Thank you so much and God bless you. Blue.